Well, burying a child is a parent's worst nightmare. One mother was planning her son's funeral after he was murdered last month, and during the process, she discovered someone else was buried in her son's plot. Well, our Kim Powell is taking a look into this story for us tonight, and she joins us live now to explain how this mix-up happened in this sad and very bizarre story, Kim. Yeah, it turns out another relative was buried in the plot that belonged to this mother. She wanted to have her 16 year old son close to family buried next to his grandfather. Now, not only does she have to bury her son in a different cemetery, but she's also having trouble getting the money back for the plot that she can't use. 16 year old Michael Loving was Twyla Boatley's firstborn, the oldest of seven. He's an awesome big brother, an awesome son, awesome student, awesome friend. Michael was shot and killed two weeks ago while sitting in his car near 38th Avenue and Thomas. The wrong place at the wrong time. Phoenix police quickly arrested the suspect. The guy claimed that he never seen my son and he never he didn't even know my son was even in the car. A mother's worst nightmare, now a reality. Twyla started planning her son's funeral and was trying to make arrangements at Rest Haven, where her family has had a plot for the last four decades. That's when she discovered someone else was buried there, her cousin. But she says the funeral home didn't get permission from the owner of that specific plot. It's not a problem with him being buried there because he is our family. I would have prefer preferred for us to be there since my dad is right there. But, I mean, it's fine. But I was wishing that maybe they could correct it since we still do have a plot right there. Twyla says she wasn't able to bury Michael in another section of the family plot, so she asked for a refund of the nearly $6,000 and got Phoenix police involved. Luckily, I had proof of my receipts and everything because they act like they didn't have anything. After more than two weeks since his death, Twyla says she just wants to get her son to his final resting place. At least me and my kids will have somewhere we can go and sit there and we can know that he's there and we can know... You know, it's, it's, like, it's, a, it's a lot of good, yeah. positive feelings. And Twyla says she has yet to see any of that $6,000 back on her card, and Phoenix police are assisting in resolving this matter. A spokesperson for Rest Haven said that they do not discuss specific client matters with the media. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.